Hello guys, 1000 Jet Blast here, also known as x -Tech -A. back with another video for you here today. Today we are spectating a game, uh, it's a full pre-made uh, 5v5, it's a normal game, and I'm just gonna rearrange the junglers meanwhile. Uh, in this game we have me playing Nessus in the top lane. We have Bertog playing Yi in the jungle. We have in the mid lane uh, Hayam Kangmin as Ezreal. In the bot lane we have Danik and Ari as Lucian and Annie. Up against the Zed Shaco. Okay, someone needs help. Uh, Zed Shaco. Graves was his name, that is it. Heimer and Nunu as a support. So I will be up against Heimer in the top lane. So this is going to be an interesting match. Uh, it's uh, as you may have seen from the title, we have a goal advantage. <laughs> well, that's a sport mastery, I guess. But this is uh, I'm going to teach you guys a bit about Nessus and um, how to. How to stack in the laning phase. Uh, and I'm also going to focus on the rest of the game. Because this is going to be the... It's, it's not just going to be watch me uh, and you watching the farming of me. Because that's not the interesting part. I'll just tell you some stuff about Nessus. So I started Claw 5 this game. Because I thought I was a, up against Zed. But apparently... Heimer was going to be <coughs> my opponent. Uh, so it looks like in mid lane he's getting some good harass off here. In the bot lane, well that's just the bot lane, not doing too much. Are you throwing out some auto attacks? That's ooh, he is getting fucking bursted. Jesus. Okay, I'm getting some stacks up there. That's not too interesting. The early part is not too hard. You just need to wait for cooldowns. Let Heimer push a bit, and Heimer is a natural pusher. Okay, that was. That uh, uh, Ignite was dropped by Nunu. That was not needed. But I think it was a dubstep. So it got him to kill. That was an unfortunate death. But you know, stuff happens. Danik getting dropped low. Getting the autos dropped on him. The slow is gigantic. I've been missing a lot of farm here. Doing a pretty interesting level 1 bolt with the two fairy charms. And in the mid lane, Zed still level 2 at the moment. And he is getting zoned out. He is going full ham. I don't know. Yeah, he probably should have flashed that, so that's good. So two flash being burned in the bot lane. And... Well, Graves is up ahead in farm. The tower is killing me here. That was stupid to focus. Meanwhile, Ari still level 1. The tower is still hitting me. Get the bonus 5 gold. Mid lane getting ganked by Shaco. The knife getting dropped in the ignite by Zed. I don't know. By who actually. Zed flashing on top of him. And Ezreal then flashing out. But the knife is going to get dropped. Shadow and the shadow slash. Is going to be enough for the kill. Looks like exhaust was used here on. Okay he's going ham. Ari did not use an ability to stun Graves. Would have. I don't know if he had cooldowns or not. That would have been a kill. So, Danik walking up to the wall there. He is... Was gonna die to that fucking Gromp. Is he gonna get a kill here? Or is he just gonna die again? Double shot. Getting dropped. But it's not enough. And that's another kill for Zed. 2-0. So, our morale just got dropped a lot. Since... We are not farming that great, and we're dying a lot. I didn't actually use any potions yet against Heimer. And I am at uh, how many stacks am I at right now? Let's just go and take a look, a little look at the top lane here. I am at 33 stacks against the little harassment I've been getting. It's not too much. But I've been live steaming it up. So let's see. Third shot drops. Auto attack it once. Auto attack it again. Remember, the melee stake 
two hits from a tower, then take him again in the stack for that plus six. And I just let the wave push here, use my E to push it back a bit because the wave's too big to fight uh, to stack under a turret. I'm gonna miss too much stacks if that gets under there, since you know, cooldown. <laughs> if you can against a champion that's not really harassing you or skirmishing with you or anything like that, that one I missed. You should uh, tank minions for the tower so you can uh, so you can stack them outside of the tower range. That means more stacks because you don't have the um, time limit of killing the minions and the cooldown of your Q. <laughs> Sorry, I have a bit of a cold, so he's just dying again. That's just a snowballing bot lane, nothing too interesting. In the last uh, two minutes, uh, the Nick got one CS. That's good. So uh, he's getting gold. I'm still, still farming. You know, Nessus. Uh, we should unlock the camera again because I say we were not gonna direct that camera. We were not gonna do this. Uh, I'm gonna turn the fog of war for red side, just because we'll have to see it from directed camera. Let's see what's happening. Z is pretty low. Looks like he got a rest down a bit, but that was all the mana that Ezreal had. And that's the death mark, Shadow Slash. Oh! Okay, he died to a minion. That's shutdown gold coming in. And looks like. Is it an AP Ezreal? Or is it Sheen? Sheen from Triforce? I think it's Sheen from Triforce. So that's stack. Just getting more stacks. Heimer went somewhere. Probably base. Because he was out of mana. And he's going fucking ham. Level 3. He's dead. Is Graves dead? Yeah, so that's a kill for him. That's greed. He should have just kept farming instead of killing him. We're gonna take a longer look at this top line. Because... it's. I think this is more interesting here, right here. Yeah, let's... We're gonna change it up a bit. It's gonna be a Nessus. Uh, so I haven't backed yet. Uh, let's see. I have uh, 16k in the pocket. So that's good. I start at claw 5. And I still have 5 potions. So I'm able to sustain. I'm gonna miss a few stacks now. Because I don't have the cooldown reduction. But I'm fine with that. Well, I'm not. I'm I'm pushing up a bit now, not missing this. Yes, and trying to wait for the cooldown on my Q, but it's hard. But you know, I can always get some free extra stacks in the tower. What I probably do here, yeah, get a free extra stack. Plus three. So now I'm starting to get irritated by the freaking towers. I'm walking up to get the stack on minion. Alright. <coughs> Sorry. I had a really bad cold. Actually, kind of the flu. But then backwards last week. So I haven't been able to record anything then. I would have uploaded this. Uh, well, this was played a little, I think, three days ago. Would have uploaded another video sooner. But this one was more interesting. Arya comes in for a gank on Heimer. Um, but yeah, he's just wasting his time. He's level three. He needs to fucking get experience. It's like Lucian boy. He is also level three. I oh, level four. Don't mind. Um, hold on. I'm just stacking up right now. Let's see what's happening in jungle here. There was a fight, but no, nobody died. Okay. So that's a meditate. So, uh, 77 farm, 23k gold, and I haven't based yet. Am I going yet? Because staying now is stupid, because I can buy a frozen heart. I think I'm going to push to the tower with this wave, because it's such a big wave. I want it to, to uh, drop. Oh, I'm going to hit the tower as well. I don't know why, actually. Okay, I'm just staying for more stacks. Cooldown is really hurting me if the minions are focusing the tower. Now I'm gonna... 
I'm gonna flash out of there. Okay. That was bad by me. I should have backed a long time ago. Shaco actually used his Q to go upwards, I think. Or he didn't want to follow at all. I don't know. But I'm out of there. So, I think I get an instant frozen heart. Meanwhile, Lucian and Ezreal have been pushing the mid lane. He, the Nick is... Is using his AD carry strat. Yeah, I get a frozen heart and boots. So that is a good base. Now I got the cooldown reduction and the mana to go into stack more. Ah. So... We should speed this up a bit, because this is the boring part. Walking to lane, you know. So, we lose a few towers. But I don't give a fuck. Is there a still fight in mid lane? No, it, it just it looked like a fight. So, it looks like Heimer has been spotted by the wards walking up there. So, he is... I think I didn't actually see him, because I'm fucking tunnel guy. He... It doesn't stun me with the ult. And yeah, you better flash out of there, you scrub. I don't need magic resist to kill you, Heimer. He has a Mar Marlon Monk on fingers. We got the first dragon. And that is really bad by the enemy team. They were at so far. And not taking away a single dragon. Just giving that over. That's a bad thing. If you manage to get a second dragon and after that, we have a Nasus on your team that's doing good. He's gonna shred towers. The second buff is the most important for Ness. Besides the fifth, of course. Because that's just. Yeah. It's the dream of a Nessus. 30%. Then a mas then with the mastery. Uh, with the, the, uh, the, the pod. 15%. 45% bonus damage to structures. That's the dream of a Nessus. And you don't even really need it. So Heimer just really your wave clearing it there. Midline is pushing with Graves and Nunu over there. So the whole team is going there except Ari. Ari is just he's soaking up some experience down there. Which uh, he really desperately needs. So that's good. And looks like there's a fight. Let's go see. And okay. It's just him dying. Oh, flashing out of there because the Nunu snowball would have killed him. Zed? Gonna do is he gonna do some flashy things? No. Okay, so nothing really happened there, besides he died. How's he doing on Devourer stacks? He is at... Oh, he just bought it. Okay, So there's a gank Arena coming in. I think I want to run, and then I think... Hell no, I'm going to fuck you up. Use my ult for the AoE damage. I have to make a choice there, which I didn't. Stack the tower for the lifesteal. Shelko coming into me. The Q's dealing damage. And an RQ gonna get dropped in a second. Bam. That's me at. It says 24? Is that 224 then? Let's. I don't know. I think it's glitched. I can see how many stacks I have. It's glitched. Okay. Um. Oh, wait. Let's see. There was a solo triple. Okay, he's fighting here. So, Ari getting drop low. Tibber's coming out. Yi going in. Trying to get oh, ult and the thing together. That's double kill. Yi trying to go ham. Flashes out. Dash. That's going to be the burn in the alpha strike. Damage doesn't go off. Ari is dead. That was close. That was close, though. Meanwhile... I'm not giving a fuck as usual. Stacking the tower. That's the 30% cooldown direction right there, boys. You can run like two different pages on Nessus, that will work. You can use the scaling. Uh, you can do scaling cooldown reduction, which means you don't need the. Uh, you don't need. Actually, need us. Well, I would always get a Spirit Visage if they have any source of magic damage, because the self heal. But, uh, no, scaling, it would be actually not, it wouldn't be that smart to get, now that I think of it. Well, I run 10%, or 5% in my, my runes, I will put my runes in the beginning of the video, by the way, and in the description as well. But I run 5% um, 
Quantum Reduction Glyphs. I run AD Reds. I run Armor Yellows. I'm gonna teleport to the top lane. Just so the tower doesn't get dropped. They actually had a good fight there. They got a uh, Heimer out of it. Okay. Uh, but uh, Armor Yellows, the Quints are... I think AD. Yeah, I think it's AD. Or move speed. Uh, I don't know. It will be on the screen. And the other blues, 5. So there's 5 CDR blues, I think, is 5% or s or 7. 5 or 6. 5, 6 or 7 is 5%, I don't know. Uh, and the rest is magic resist. So just, just so I get a little magic resist in the beginning. <laughs> because it's always nice to have. And Zed, thinking he can take me out. I use my ult because I can. Ari misses the ult. <coughs> like a madman. Whoop. Zed's still here. And the tower not taking too much. Oh, I'm tanking it. That means he gets the bonus armor. Red team star. So we just lost our inner mid tower, uh, but I still don't give a fuck. It's too bad I can see what stacks I'm on. I don't know why that's glitched. Oh, it's 320. Somewhere in the 320. So that's Zed getting dropped. Don't know why it was still there. Stack on the box. The mounted there. They're not gonna chase. Looks like mid lane getting pushed meanwhile by the team. I'm just gonna go to a recall spot here that they don't expect if they were to follow me. If they were to follow me, they would have died, but that's okay. So I got base, got mercs. I already am working on my spirit visage. Got the ruby crystal for the. I don't know what it's called. Thing with health and cooldown reduction. But I like to get the magic sisters just because they're new to his pad. And you know, Heimer still can do some damage if he lands at all of his. Or if I'm finding in the middle of uh, an Illuminati triangle, of course. Tower taking a little bit of damage. I'm actually using his ult here. What I don't fucking understand. So that ult not doing too much. I just lifesteal it back. Missed the stack there. Fucking bronze. Got another stack. Missed. And there, tower. Got the five gold. Get the stack on tower. <coughs> Ooh. It's stalking. Not good, my former throat's gonna be back. So, Heimer's out of mana points right now. So, he, he is pretty useless. Although, his turrets only got like 20 mana. But they're no match for me. I just tank in it. I last still everything back in one hit, so it does no problemo. Ezreal getting stuff done. Let's see what he did there. He got himself a double kill. Hold on, we need to watch this fight. Okay, they wanted to go base. Okay, he's coming in, getting dropped low. Is that a, was that a stun getting dropped? I don't know. I don't know where he went. Zed, death marking. Shek on his side, getting dropped. Death mark, popping. Box popping. He flashing over the wall, Q's. Ult. Ult connects just by an inch. Very nice. Good play by our Ezreal, right here. Very nice. All right. Meanwhile, I'm still stacking uh, 370 something. I think it's because the other number is not in the box. At, yeah, at the, the left left hand corner, left bottom corner. Yeah, it's now at 380. That's the tower destruction, guys. That is my dream. I love the second dragon. That's that's fucking it. And I still haven't come down to shut me down on top lane. Still 2-0, 180 CS at 18 minutes. That's very good. I've just been free farming this. Like, no, not really free farming, but pretty much free actually. If I could, uh, if I could, uh, yeah, if I could get away with the uh, frozen heart at the start instead of magic resist. But Heimer wasn't there after I went base. He was. We're roaming mid, I don't know. So Lucian died again. But he isn't worth anything, so that's no problem. One and eight. 
So, 420 stacks, baby! Uh, get an extra stack on the tower, and this tower is gonna drop. Gonna get the stack on that as well. And looks like Zed getting another kill. But we don't really want to see their kills. We just want to see our team kills. Because, you know, their team kills, their kills, they're just... They're fed. There's nothing really special about that. It's just a new throwing a fucking snowball in your face and you're dying. You know. But us getting kills on the other hand. That's something special. They are people very low, but Ezreal getting dropped. And we're still pushing this wave. Heimer coming in with the ult. It stuns me, but I don't give a fuck. He flashed onto me? I don't know what the fuck that was. Was that a misclick? Uh, ulted for the disrespect. Stack. Probably ulted there because I was scared. He would actually burst me somehow. But that's impossible if he already uses his ult. He probably can't kill me with this magic set. I have 117. I'm running a 2190 mastery patch as well, so yeah. That gets me the extra defenses. At 490 stacks, almost 500. And meanwhile, Zed getting dropped by Lucian. Graves and Shaco escaping with a ninja melt. Solo tank and tower. That's another tower down on the top lane. And closer to the inhib. I'm out, almost out of mana points, so I should go base soon. Uh, 219 CS, let's see. So, on items wise, our year has finished his. Is that Devour? Or... I just can't see the fucking difference! That's Devour, right? Yeah. And his Yomus. So he got some Berserker Greaves. He's working towards his... Blade of the Ruined King. Meanwhile, we have a Triforce and Cooldown Reduction Boots on Ezreal. And... Edge on our... Good friend... Lucian. I just finished his Spirit Visage and got myself a Sheen and a Ward. And I'm probably not gonna place. Sell my pots. Ari Sidestone and working towards that Zanyas to survive the fight against Zed. Meanwhile, the enemies are fucking fed and have a lot. So. I don't know if you. Oh, I'm just gonna. Whoops. There was a little driver thingy on there. Sorry for that. So. Midnight's pushing. I'm actually gonna go mid now. Because. Yeah, because. Just because. Zed coming in. Death Mark getting dropped. Off a strike to escape. And he's out. Could have used his Meditate. To block some of the damage. Probably wasn't going to kill him anyway. But you, you, you never know. 50% damage reduction I think it is. Should probably do that. Anyway. That's a ward getting killed over there. Let's see. They're pushing bot lane now. They have an open inhibitor. We have an open inhibitor at bot lane. That they desperately want to take. Shaco and Zed meanwhile camping in the jungle. On a ward. So getting queued by Ezreal. And they're gonna be... Ye going ham flashing over the wall. Don't know why I didn't use Alpha Strike to get over the wall though. And that's a double kill. Triple kill. Alpha Strike. Perfect timing. And... Yeah, that pussy queued away. That, that pussy queued away. Yeah, I, I, I thought I said it wrong. Oh, Ezreal. Oh, Scuttle Crab OP. Is he gonna get this? Q? Yeah. Q killing the clone, getting the 50 gold. And of course, an also attack on the Shaco to kill the little nigger. Battle getting slowed. Oh, getting dropped. Ice Ball is gonna finish him off. Great assassination by Nunu. Sorry. I was almost gonna die there. That was close. Ari just escaping. I need to drink something. Luckily, I always have something here. Looks like Danik is gonna head to the top lane to get the wave. Because he's going to need that. But let's take a look at the gold. I want to know. I have 9.1k. Their most fed player has 11.5. I'm ahead of Zed. With. 
seven kills. Okay. Oh, whoa, that damage. That damage, though. 7, 3, 11, Nunu. That's insane damage. Meanwhile, I have taken over the bot lane. Level 15. Heimer coming in, but he's probably not going to do much. Why is he f does he keep throwing his E alt? And the Nick just getting... Oh, my God. Oh, why did he walk back? Oh, that was close. Looks like... Oh, Ezreal coming in with the flash E. Heimer getting dropped. Assist for Lucian. Disrespect. Not really. So, 25 minutes into this game right now. Let's speed this up a bit. Ah, shit, I'm not... Okay. Not really doing much. Looks like I'm running back to the... Alright, let's see. Anything happening here? I got feared and I stacked the box. Push the wave. Herpes. Q. And... He's over there. He getting the kill. Get more stacks. I don't know where he was gonna go. Because my tower is still there. Oh, that's what he wanted to do. Now I'm going back to base to defend because our inhibitor got destroyed. Mostly because I'm not helping. And Zed is gonna fucking. Okay, I got fucking smoked. Is he dead? Oh, the stun connects. EQ him. That's gonna do peanut damage. Herpes getting dropped. Tibber's cock blocking my ass. Can't even get dropped by a snowball. Stun dropped. Q stacks. Plus six. Am I gonna catch Graves? Flashing over. Herpes getting dropped. Spirit flame. And that's gonna be plus six again. Heimer. He's probably gonna flash there. That's what I thought. So I went around because that was out. Oh, is this gonna be plus six? Herpes plus six. Unstoppable. And I just want you to know that this game was against like platinum and diamond players. We are all in gold and silver. That was the funniest part when we started to come back like this. This is the Nasus Factor. Game's never over when Ness is on, uh, on the team. Especially a Ness is with 640 some stacks. I'm working towards my Triforce. I think I have not finished by now. Or am I working towards Tri? I don't think I'm gonna get a Triforce. I have a Glacial Sword, so that means I'm probably gonna get a Iceborne Gauntlet. Because, yeah, their Grace was. Well, four. I needed the extra armor. I needed to be able to survive for sure. And on top of that, probably gonna get a Tormil as well. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna take the blue buff then. Thank you very much. Ye going fucking ham, destroying Shaco. Getting the clone. 25. New new. Red team double kill. So, he is. Running. This is the fucking Baterino 2.0. Let him cut him close. Herpes on his face. He's not able to. Oh, he's able to dash. He getting dropped. This is gonna be plus six. Heimer incoming. Squirm. Herpes. Spirit flame. Plus six. That's how we roll. Nine zero two. So I'm just gonna slap this tower right here. Heimer incoming. And that's the tower going down. Stack plus three. Ari, uh. Shaco incoming. I don't know if he wanted to fight this. Uh, I found Nunu was there, so I was gonna run now. Ice wall getting dropped on my ass. Knives getting dropped. Slows. Ari coming in with the, s the, the slow. That's the EQ for the armor pen. This is gonna be a close here. Or am I just going to be pussy and run? Oh, plus six. Heimer getting dropped. Legendary, meanwhile. Heimer down by Ezreal. Q's very nice. 
Ezreal got back into this game magnificently. Then, then Graves got over there and destroyed him. He's 8 and 7 right now. Got the Triforce. The, uh... Well, I don't know why he actually rushed, rushed a... Oh, I forgot the name. On Lost Whisper. Because they're building zero armor. Heimer is getting a little bit from his Zonias, but that's nothing to get armor pen for. So I don't know why he got that instead of like a Bloodthirster. Well, Bloodthirster is more expensive, but... I guess you could get the same result as an, with a Lost Whisper with a, a BF Sword. Because the, that's the same AD and you can get some lifesteal on top of that. So yeah, I finished my Iceborne and working on Randuins because they're full AD and my Spirit Visage. Well, they're not full AD, but Heimer is fucking useless. He doesn't do shit and Nunu, well, yeah. Spirit Visage is more than enough magic resist for them. I want to be able to take out Graves for sure. And of course, the slow is going to help me get not get kited. Anti-kite. So I see the ward there. Teleport on there. This is an opportunity. Me wave just passed. So I am going to take out the inhibitor. Right here. That's a free inhib. The wave is coming towards me. The enemy team is over there. Enemy team is going for the bot lane. Looks like Yi gonna get dropped by Zed. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna keep stacking right here. Keep pushing this. They can stop the port. Right here. This was the moment. It was do or die. I had a mean wave. They were defending the base. Pretty good. So I was just gonna slap these towers because we have the second dragon. And Iceborne, Iceborne, 750 stacks. And as you can see, laser towers are fucking useless. Solo tanking them all day. This was pretty risky, though. I could have actually died and lost us the game. But lifesteal is OP. Heimer is going ham. And I don't give a fuck. Plus six. Oh, flash. Oh, that was fucking... Medlife Flash, and that is gonna be the game, boys. This is the Nasus factor. Never count on Nasus. They destroyed other lanes, except me. So, guys, that's the end of this game. I hope you enjoyed watching me stack people and. I don't know if this was really educational or anything. But yeah, Nasus. Never count him out. Respect his damage. If you're up against him, of course. Respect his push power. Because as you can see, they base just got fucking wrecked. And they didn't even get the innate out of it. Because my team defended pretty good. And... Uh, yeah, playing Nasus. Of course... If their enemy is this fed, it's probably not a good idea to get the Triforce. You want to get the Nice Burn Gauntlet or even not get that Gauntlet or Sheen later on to the game and get some health first. Because uh, all I had from health items in the beginning was the Spirit Visage. I think I rushed I, I rushed the, the, ice, uh, the Frozen Heart. After that I got the Magic Resist from the, the Spectre Cowl from the... Uh, Spirit Visage and got a Sheen. So the Sheen was just sitting there in my inventory, taking up a spot actually. Then working towards completing the Spirit Visage. After that, I completed the Icebone Gauntlet. And then I bought a Giant's Belt and the Warden's Mail. That is a dangerous thing to do because you're not gonna have as much health. But I thought, what the heck? Uh, I was able to two shot them already. So, with the help from my ultimate, the health that I got from that, and the AoE damage, of course, from the max health that it does, that will uh, shred the enemies and take them out. But if you if you are, like, I was 11.02 this game, and I was doing really well farming in the top lane. If you're not doing well in farming and stuff, you do want to, to get a random Omen much faster, like get a Frozen Heart, 
then depending on who's fed, I got spared Visage first. And if I was behind, I should have gotten Randuin's first, and then after that, bought the spared Visage. Because Nunu, Nunu has an ultimate AoE ultimate, and then just a single target damage spell. For the rest, he's not going to do a shit. And that snowball is probably not going to be thrown at me. Because he, he wants to be looking for one shot on Garry's while Graves takes me out. Because throwing a snowball at me doesn't really help. Unless he's peeling for his carries. Of course, if I'm up to your face. But that means, if he throws that at me, it means my team will not get the AP damage on. So that's the thing. And if you have that random ones, then you can slow them. A little bit cut, and they'll be an easy target for an any ultimate or a Lucian uh, combo or, you know, the Yi and Ezreal AoE stuff. Yeah, that's that. I will... I will uh, probably do some more guides for Nasus in the future because Nasus is one of my favorite top laners. And maybe even have some gameplay of mid coming up. I'm playing a lot of mid lately. And I might want to upload some of that. Besides, uh, and there's also a new uh, jungle video coming soon of Udir. I have one ready. And it just needs to be. Uh, I just need to record it. I have a replay ready for it. <coughs> it was a great game. That will be coming up probably somewhere next week. But for now, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I uh, hope you learned something from it. That was the idea. You probably didn't. Because I was going to think it was an ed educational video. Uh, well, for, at first I wasn't. Then I was. And then I didn't actually tell you much. But I hope you did. So final tip for Nasus. Pressure. That's the thing. You need pressure. Pressure like this. Always take teleport, of course. And then you can pressure the map. Take those inips. Force them back. If they start fighting, then you can teleport into base and just take them out. So yeah, guys. That's a summary from Nessus. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys in the next video.